Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm coming to you from Milwaukee, where we're taking the first ever test ride on the new Serial One electric bikes. And of course, we've got all the tech specs and pricing info for you. So let's check them out. So you might already be thinking, aren't those the Harley Davidson e-bikes? But there's a bit of housekeeping here. The short story is, yes, these started out as a project inside of Harley Davidson. But in the last couple of months, they were spun off into a dedicated e-bike startup known as Serial One, named after the very first Harley Davidson motorcycle, the Serial Number no. One. And today, Serial One is announcing their new portfolio of electric bikes and taking pre-orders. To give you an overview of what you're looking at, Serial One has two major frame designs. The Mosh, which is a single speed and something of an urban play bike, and the Rush, which uses an automatic Enviolo Nuvinci continuously variable transmission and is more outfitted as a commuter e-bike with full fenders, front and rear rack, etc. Both bikes share a lot in common though. They're equipped with Gates belt drive systems, powered by Broza Drive S-Mag mid-drive motors, and have swappable batteries housed very low in the frame to improve the mass centralization of the bikes and lower their center of gravity. They all even have a glove box that can hold a high security ABUS folding lock, which can actually be keyed alike, so you can use the same key for battery removal, the glove box lock, and the bike lock. Why have three keys when one key can do everything? Back to the components here though. Now the Mosh gets dual piston hydraulic disc brakes, while the Rush gets four piston hydraulic disc brakes. Both use large 203 millimeter rotors on the brakes. They both also have integrated lighting, with the taillights built right into the rear triangle that also illuminate as brake lights thanks to a hidden accelerometer in the bike. And there are two different headlights. There's a B-scene light, which is integrated into the head tube here, and there's the more powerful seeing light, which was custom designed by Serial One to provide a powerful yet even light across the beam, not just a powerful beam that fades anywhere but in the center, like most bike lights. The Mosh maxes out at 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour, while the Rush has a version that can do up to 20 miles an hour, or a speed version that can actually go faster, up to 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour. The frames were all designed using proper stair-step geometry that proportionally increases the stack and reach of the frame to ensure that all riders get the same geometry, even as the bicycle size changes between the four different available frame sizes. And Serial One actually knows what they're doing when it comes to bike geometry. These bikes seemingly disappear underneath you, they're just so effortless to ride and they track so nicely. The frame design also benefited from Harley's decades of experience in frame construction, resulting in a lightweight yet rugged frame that vastly outperformed other premium e-bikes when tested on Harley-Davidson's frame-proofing bench tests. Essentially, these e-bikes take motorcycle-level design considerations for precision, safety, and comfort to build higher-quality e-bike frames that still remain light and nimble. Speaking of nimble, let's talk about the ride. Oh man, these bikes are just so much fun to ride. First of all, there's the single speed Mosh, which is still nicely geared to start strong and yet not require too fast of a pedal cadence at top speed. The way Serial One centralized the mass of the motor and the battery as low as possible in that frame means the bikes just love cornering. Plus, they've got those Schwab Supermoto X tires that love leaning into turns as much as the bikes do. The Broza motor offers four different assist levels and it gets quite powerful in the top end, offering up to 90 newton meters of torque. Then you've got two different batteries, either a 529 or 706 watt hour battery, which are rated for ranges of anywhere from 35 to 100 miles or around 60 to 160 kilometers, depending on the bike's pedal assist levels. That's obviously a really wide range that represents the many different riding scenarios but suffice it to say that a 700 plus watt hour battery on a pedal assist e-bike is going to go really freaking far. And again, here's another area where Serial One has the advantage of an experienced motorcycle company as its parents, since the same team that designed the batteries for the Harley-Davidson Livewire electric motorcycle also designed the Serial One batteries. I barely made a dent in the battery capacity during my afternoon of test riding, and I covered all sorts of terrain, from city blocks to off-road trails. In fact, I was amazed at how well these urban-oriented bikes handled the trails. The way they are designed means that the same cornering principles on the street translate to the trails, and they just love flying around these bends. The 2.4-inch tires are wide enough to do this kind of riding, but not so wide like fat tires that they would prevent the bikes from being agile. 
and that motor has the power to climb even steep off-road trails. Basically, everything about the Serial 1 e-bikes just speaks to the attention to detail they received in the design process. Even things like rubber washers that were created to ensure that there was absolutely zero noise or rattling on the fenders and racks, or the security paint marks on critical bolts like in the brakes, speak to the motorcycle background that Serial 1 used to design these bikes. And that's why I'm actually quite impressed by the pricing, with MSRPs for the bikes ranging from $3,399 to $4,999 for the various models. Is that a lot of money? Of course, but these are premium e-bikes after all. Remember, we're talking Gates Belt Drive, automatic shifting, two and four piston hydraulic disc brakes, German-made mid-drive motor, automotive level custom batteries, automotive level frame, etc. I mean, any e-bike from companies like Trek or Specialized with this tier of bicycle components is gonna cost just as much. And those competitors don't have the advantages of Serial 1, like the improved handling from mass centralization, automotive level frame design and optimization, integrated lighting, and other attention to detail. Even the tool you receive with the bikes is high quality, not just some dinky Allen key set. Ultimately, I'm actually really impressed with what Serial 1 has done here. Yeah, we've all heard the jokes, oh it's a Harley e-bike, how are they going to make it leak oil? <laughs> Alright, haha, I mean, it's funny, but give these bikes an objective look here for just a second. These aren't Harley's motorcycle e-bikes. They're their own thing. They're high quality urban electric bicycles with high quality components that just happen to have benefited from having a Harley origin story. You get the advantages of that, including several designers that were formerly Harley engineers and thus brought in the automotive level strength and safety design, but you also get a brand new e-bike company that isn't shackled by any design heritage anymore and can focus simply on high quality manufacturing and high performance handling. So while the bikes are not cheap, they are competitively priced in the premium e-bike market and bring a lot of new features and performance to the industry that we haven't seen before. These aren't Harley e-bikes, they're Serial 1 e-bikes that have taken advantage of some Harley blood, and the good parts of the Harley blood at that. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that first test ride of the new Serial 1 electric bikes. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.